What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be doing a first impression on the new Polo Cologne Intense Eau de Parfum by uh, Ralph Lauren for men. Uh, yeah, this recently just came out this year and I'm just gonna try it out, trying something new with this whole scene. <laughs> so yeah, this is the new Polo Cologne. This is the new Polo Cologne. Just a standard packaging for Polo um, on the box. So yeah, let's get into this here. Actually, Okay, yeah, pretty much a standard packaging. Comes in this flask looking bottle. Okay, let me get a tester strip here. So this is an interesting bottle here. It is a dark green bottle. And has the signature here, or the Polo logo right in the front. There is the batch code. I think that is the correct way to hold it. Nothing on the back side, but this is an interesting bottle. Um, the cap is aluminum. Oh no, is it, is it aluminum? I think it's aluminum. It feels like metal, but it feels really light. So yeah, there is plastic inside, but there we go. This here, let's go ahead and see how this is. Oops, did I miss? I missed. I am missing. I can't see. I'm looking through the camera lens and... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so I got some on there. You can see the... Hmm. It smells interesting. It smells like a fresh fragrance. Yeah, very fresh, green, spicy. Yeah, there's some spice in there. Mm -hmm. So this is supposed to be an aromatic fougere fragrance for men. Came out this year, earlier this year, 2021. There is a mint, grapefruit, and basil. There's supposed to be some clary sage, violet leaf, Time and the base notes have ambroxan, patchouli, and vetiver. So, this is it's been a while since I've already tried using polo, a polo fragrance. The last one I've used back in middle school was Polo Sport, that was back in like I think 2002 or 2003, one of those. But yeah, that is, yeah, that is um, very nice, very fresh. As for the performance, I can't say for now. I'm going to be testing it out. But it is a nice, fresh fragrance. Mm, something similar, I can't put my finger on it. Because of the Ambroxan, it doesn't seem like... There, it, it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem similar to any of the green fragrances I've tried like Hermes um, the Hermes H24 or 212 uh, Carolina Herrera and yeah it does not smell like those green fragrances that I have and yeah it doesn't yeah, it's uh, I can't put my finger on it. I don't think this one has a has its a, a clono or something. It's a nice fresh fragrance. Um, it is. I'm just trying to remember Polo Sport. Polo Sport was really masculine, which is why I didn't. I stopped using it. Um, it was too strong, and I would spray a lot of it. <laughs> But yeah, this one seems more lighter, though it is, <clears throat> I don't know, this is, 
this seems like a fragrance that has a similarity to Dior Sauvage. Like, there's the Ambroxan in there. Yeah, I really get that Ambroxan. So, this is, I guess, yeah, a different type of... Fre a fresh... Yeah, a fresh fragrance <laughs> with Ambroxan. So, it's another Dior Sauvage. Similarity, but Dior Sauvage is more heavy, I would say. The Sauvage, when I spray that, it really, it really is an Ambroxan bomb. <laughs> so yeah, this one, this one's more gentle. It blends very well. I'll go ahead and test this out and do another follow-up uh, video. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.